All right, so I want to talk about whether lucid dreaming is easier at 3 a.m. than at any other time. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying the easiest time to lucid dream is 3 to 5 a.m. in the morning. But there are some reasons behind that. I want to explain why. I don't just want to. I don't just want to end the video there. I don't think that would help my engagement rate, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm going to talk a bit more about that. So the best time to lucid dream is between three and five a.m. Now you're probably wondering why, um, because most people will assume, especially if you're new, you will assume that you can lucid dream at any time. You'll assume that you can just just lucid dream when you go to sleep. You know, as soon as you as soon as you put your head on the pillow, a lot of people would assume that is when you can lucid dream. It's not the case at all. In fact, it's hardest to do when you first go to sleep. And the reason for that is because every single night you have what's known as sleep cycles with various sleep stages. Right? So each cycle lasts 90 minutes. You have about five to six sleep cycles consisting of a few sleep stages. The last one of those sleep stages is REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. And this is where you dream. The problem with this, if you imagine throughout these six sleep cycles every night, um, your REM sleep gets longer and longer until you get to the fifth and sixth uh, sleep cycle where it's the longest. So at the very start of, the, of, the, of uh, your, the night, at the very start of your sleep, your REM sleep stage is the shortest. So you actually have the less, you have a le the least chance of lucid dreaming the earlier on in the night that you try it. I feel like everything that I just said there was a bit of a tongue twister. Anyway. So you're, you're more likely to lucid dream the earlier in the morning you try. So between 3 and 5 a.m., your REM sleep, your rapid eye movement sleep, will be the longest. Your hormones are at the perfect balancing... The, the situation with your hormones is perfect at that time for lucid dreaming. The reason for that is because you've got serotonin, right, which is your wake-up hormone. This is like the jolt of electricity that your body gives you slowly to start the day, right? So your serotonin levels... Uh, will fall as you go to sleep in the night and then they will slowly start rising between 3 and 5 a.m. as your body prepares your mental state to be awake. Right? So the serotonin is what makes you awake and alert and aware of things. Very important for lucidity. Uh, serotonin will slowly start rising between 3 and 5 a.m. At the same time, uh, your melatonin will start dropping and you'll start being... You, you'll start being re more ready to be to be woken up okay so this is what naturally happens because your REM sleep is the longest during that area that time of the night your serotonin is at the perfect time at the perfect level sorry where you are able to become aware you're able to have critical thinking you're able to be more conscious at the same time as all of that you've already had four or five sleep cycles meaning you're deeply relaxed and you're very easily able to go back to sleep if you're woken up because you're very tired, you've already had your deep restorative sleep stages and you're you're able to just jump back into sleep, right? This is why it's th th this is why there's a whole technique around this idea, the wake back to bed technique. The reason that that technique was invented is because that's the perfect time to lucid dream. Not only that, it's the it's the time when you're most likely to 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 have a lucid dream and when you do have one it's going to be the longest that you can possibly experience because you're having you're targeting that REM sleep where your sleep is at its uh, optimal level for lucid dreaming now that was a bit of a convoluted way of saying all of that but in a nutshell yes between 3 and 5 a.m. is the best time to try and lucid dream that doesn't mean okay that doesn't mean that you have to wake yourself up between 3 and 5 a.m. That is a very common mistake and something people are a bit confused about, to be honest with you. Lots of people will assume that if you if the best time to lucid dream is between 3 and 5 a.m., they'll often read that at the same time as reading about the wake back to bed technique and they'll sort of put two and two together and think, right, in order to lucid dream, I must wake up at 3, 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. and then go back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming, as in perform a wake back to bed. Not the case. That is not the case at all. Okay. By, by focusing on that technique only, you will massively damage your sleep, right? If you do that every day for a month, you'll feel awful, you'll be fatigued, you probably won't have much success anyway, uh, although you, you will have lucid dreams, but you won't feel good about them, you know, they'll be, they'll be fragmented, you'll wake up feeling tired, you won't want to continue doing it. However, there is a better way, and this is always what I try and share on this channel. If you focus on the more natural, uh, the more natural soft techniques, things like the dialed and the mild, uh, because these things don't involve waking yourself up, they are much more effective and much more suitable for using long term because you don't interrupt your sleep, you don't fatigue yourself, and 
they're just not going to screw your sleep up as much as the wake back to bed will. And it really will. You know, I've experimented with this stuff. I've tried every technique there is, um, as far as I'm aware. And, you know, from those of you who have tried this yourself, you will probably agree with me. You know, if you try the wake back to bed every every day for a week even, you will feel tired, okay? You will feel like you don't want to carry on. And the chances are you might not even be lucid as a result. So why would you do it? I mean, obviously it's effective in the short term if you know how to do it. But why would you focus on that as your main technique when other techniques like the dialed exist? <laughs> so the dialed, um, I've made a video about this. I'll, I'll try and link to it in the description. If not, just go on my channel and search dialed. The dialed is a technique which randomly induces lucid dreams. You don't need to wake yourself up. You just go to bed every single night and and you know go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time. You don't interrupt your sleep at all. But, you know, a few times, maybe four, five times out of ten, you'll have a lucid dream and it will be a spontaneous lucid dream. It will be random. Uh, and this is the best situation that you can possibly imagine. The reason for that, you don't have to interrupt your sleep. You go to sleep as normal whenever you want. Well, within reason, <laughs> not, not completely whenever you want. Obviously, don't go to bed at, say, one or two in the morning. But, you know, go to bed at, like, say, 10, 11, um, with the intention of lucid dreaming, if you follow the steps for the dialed, um, th there's a fairly good chance you'll have a lucid dream randomly, spontaneously. You'll make yourself lucid when you're already dreaming. Um, and that is the best situation, the best technique I've ever come across because sleep is important, very important. And like, if it's a choice between having a few lucid dreams during the wake back to bed and having enough sleep, always choose the sleep, okay? And I really want to stress that again. Sleep is more important than dreams. Sleep is way more important than lucid dreams. If you don't get enough quality sleep, you'll you'll suffer in every way imaginable. Like there's a reason that sleep deprivation was one of the most effective uh, forms of torture, is because it it screws with every single process in your body. Sleep is very important. So if you're suffering because of a wake back to bed, or if you know you're trying to, to trying to lucid dream by waking yourself up at random times, just avoid all of that and focus on the dialed or the mild, meditate, do your reality checks, write your dreams down, and then when you've got a bit of a better understanding about how it all works, yeah, maybe then you can focus on the wake back to bed. You know, maybe try that on the weekends or something like that. But don't make it your main technique or you'll feel awful. Done.